Hi guys, so now that we have our app pretty much running with our favorites working, so you can actually, you know, uh, remove and add favorites to your favorite list and it goes away. The design looks a little clumsy and that's where your routing comes into picture. So you can have multiple tabs and different type of data displayed on every tab. So we are going to break this application down into two, which is one is the search and other is the favorites tab. Now, how are we going to do that? Well, you will find out in the video today. So also you can see this is the icon that we will end up adding and that's where the favorite movies will show in and we will also have our movies app displayed of course. Now uh, to get started with it what we are going to do is install react router dom. So if you remember in the initial installation we did install react router dom. If not you can run this command in the project folder and it should be taken care of. You can also see some of the documentation I'll share this link to you. So you can share, uh, you know, just check out some of the documentation that you might want to go through. Of course, we will not cover everything. We will just use uh, bits and pieces what is important and what is pretty much the heart of getting a tab implementation done. So that's what we will do in our movies app today. So let's get started. So the first thing that we are going to do is go to our app.js file. Out here, we will start importing the components that we need for our application. So the first one that we may need is our Let's go to the new line. Let's say browser route browser router as router switch and the route or root the way you pronounce it. So now that we have all these components from of course react router DOM. So that's the first thing that we are going to do. Now make a note of it that everything that you have should be enclosed in your router. So let's go ahead and do that. So your entire application that you see, we don't want this jumbotron to be displayed again and again and therefore we will add tabs here. So one approach would be to put it into index.js file but in that case the app and the favorites will completely be different. So what I prefer is keep something common which is like the header or probably sticky header that you might have and below it you can have your tabs. Mm -hmm. So just before the movie results, we can add another row out here. Let's say div class name equals to row div closed. Now let us write the router. So router Now every router can have multiple things. So one is a switch, which means you're telling the router that this can be a switch or you can switch between the tabs that you have. So switch then internally can have routes or routes as we say. So root. Now you, of course, if you're having a root, you need to make sure that you specify a path. So in this scenario, the default will be the home. So that's what you have. And of course the default component that you will have will be your movies list which is movie results would be your component. So close the root. The next root that we will have is your favorite path. So let's say path is equals to slash favorite and the component of course will be your favorite. One second, let's do favorite movie list. Now again, this will fail because we haven't imported the components yet. So let's go ahead and import it. So let's say import favorite movie list from, of course it has to be favorite movie list. So favorite movie list. Let's save the file. Let's go back here. So the default application looks correct. The favorite will not show up. And if you try to do a fav, what it will give you is my favorite movies and the search goes away. So that's the magic of router. Now the only thing that remains is to give a link to it. Now if you go to the react router also, there's a very good example on link. You can just click on this link and you can pretty much pick this code up. So link about whatever you need to make sure and you just had to add the import. So let us do that onto our re uh, movie results as well as the favorite movies link. So let's go back here. So go to movie results. Let us import the link. So import link from you gotta import it from react router dom. Now this link will sit maybe about the search tag. So let's do a link and here you gotta specify the path. So in this say in this scenario 
Now you will give a favorites link. So the path will be FAV and then you will say favorite. Let us save this and we should start seeing a favorite link out here. Let's go back to this so you can see favorite. If you click it, it should take you to the favorite movies. Similarly, when you're on the favorite movies, you need to make sure that you can go back to your home screen. So let's copy the same thing or probably do the same thing on favorite movie list where we will import our link from react router DOM. Okay. So now that link is available to us, we'll just go ahead and code, code it out here. So just about the my favorite movies, let's give the link to in this scenario, the path is the default application. So you just give a slash and then say home slash link, save the file and you should be able to get the file. Okay. What the problem is it's imported import from, okay. This needs to be in brackets. My bad. Okay, now let's save the file. It should refresh. You should see a home home link out here. Click it. It'll take you to home. Click on favorite and you can start switching tabs. Of course, this can go to X number as number of tabs you want to increase, but it's a very simple implementation of routing in React apps. Now, if you have any questions on routing as uh, such, let me know in the Q&A section or in the comments below and I'll be super happy to work with you. I'll see you in the next class.